what is going on guys welcome back to another video here on the channel so we are sitting here in the 0124 valve which is up for grabs by the way and also we are running a one day 50x special this is the only day we're doing it of this entire giveaway so from right now until the clock turns over to 2023 tonight at midnight every one dollar is going to get you 50 entries on the website we've never done 50x before and we're only doing it for one day which means the odds of you getting a lot of entries in a short amount of time could put you forward with an advantage in this giveaway. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We are in the 24 valve with the new tent. We got 5% all the way around and then we got 15% on the windshield. So the thing is, it's pretty dark. It looks pretty stinking good. So I'm gonna get out of the truck here and show you guys around it here in a little bit. But I also wanted to make known the fact that the truck just got picked up from getting a bunch of stuff done under the front end so when we put the wheels and tires on this thing i always like to do a little bit of a wheel bearing slash uh, ball joint test on the truck so i like we'll get the truck up on a jack stand each front wheel and just kind of like see if they teeter totter in or out and the one side did and so the first thing i thought was probably a wheel bearing but it could be ball joint so i'm going to take this thing in we're going to get it looked over make sure the whole front end's tight get the new alignment with the wheels and tires so I took it in there, they did new upper and lower ball joints on left and right side. They also did a new tie rod and ends. They also tightened up the track bar because there was already a new track bar installed about a year ago. And it was just apparently just a hair loose. They said they just had to tighten it down to spec and then it was totally fine. And then um, they put new U joints on the front and left as well because they were like, well, we're already in here. They look like they're gonna need replaced soon enough. So let's just do it. So I said, okay, do it. And uh, so the thing rides beautiful. They, they said they did something with the steering box as well. I don't know if they said they replaced it or they tightened it up or whatnot, but I, I paid a good amount of money to get that stuff all done. And I do believe they did Moog ball joints and Moog universal joints on the truck. So this thing should be good to go for a very long time. And I'm pretty sure the warranty on that stuff is pretty darn good. And the other thing was, I didn't think the four wheel drive was working and they looked it over and they're like, there was one vacuum line that was popped off from where it was supposed to be. So we just popped it back on with a new rubber something or another. And they're like, it worked perfect. So they had it up on the left, engaged the four wheel drive and all four were turning when they locked it up. So that's good to know as well. So this thing is officially all ready to go and done as much as we are gonna do to it. We did the wheels and tires, the tonic cover. We did new shocks front and rear, new tie rods and ends new ball joints, uppers and lowers, new universal joints. Um, I already said wheels and tires, I believe. The new tow mirrors, the tent all the way around. And what am I missing? I know we did something. Oh yeah, new dash top on the truck, new dash bezel, um, new rear bumper, but uh, we got it all ready to go. So let me show you around this thing. I wanted to do the talking part in the truck because the wind is awful out there this morning. It is probably 25 mile an hour wind. So if the wind is bad, I apologize, but can't stop mother nature from doing her thing. So let's get out here and check this thing out. So as I said, we did 5% on the sides, 5% on the back, 15 on the front. So it is very dark tent. Upper, lower, ball joints, U joints, all that good stuff. So that stuff is all good to go. Steering is nice and tight like it should be. Alignment's all good. And uh, yeah, thing, uh, thing drives awesome. So I actually do have to drive this thing a little bit today. I gotta go pick up some feed stuff and I gotta haul the mower and uh, use it to do a couple of things here real quick. Not mowing grass, but I gotta use the mower to pull a couple of things around here to a couple of our hunting locations around here. We also have a winner for the dually. Start this thing up here. And hopefully we're picking up a new truck here tomorrow actually look at that no plug-in parking breakdown there we go. no plugging in just a quick cycle of the grid heater and fired up instantly love that so we're gonna back this thing up get it hooked up to the trailer got to run a couple errands and do some stuff but let's tell you who won that beautiful dually back there well, we got the trailer hooked up. I got the test out the four wheel drive backing up the hill there and it, it works good. I apparently have a flat on the mower. I'm letting it warm up a bit because I haven't ran it in a handful of weeks. But we do have a winner for this beautiful Dually LNP DG35. It's a 12 valve, five speed manual four wheel drive truck. 
beautiful truck. It's actually got a little bit of a little bit of dust in here, keeping it indoors to try to keep it clean. And the dust blows up underneath there sometimes and gets in the barn. But beautiful truck. And the winner is Anthony Daniels out of Colorado. So congratulations, Anthony. Can't wait to speak to you soon and have you out here to get your new truck. I'm gonna hop in the truck because, like I mentioned earlier, it is super windy. I just got done running all the errands that I had to and doing a couple things. Um, the thing I don't like about the newest style of second gen dash is it's rounded so the cameras don't sit on it as well. As I told you guys earlier, the winner of the dually is Anthony Daniels out of Colorado. So that is who was drawn as of this morning and then the way the process works, um, we go over this a lot. and. I mean, I totally get it. People are skeptical. There's a lot of freaking scam accounts and crap out there and scam calling agencies that just go out there to try to get personal information. So I totally get it. But we're going to go through the process of how this works. So the attorney that does the non-biased third-party drawing, in other words, we take all the entries, we give them to the agency. The agency does the drawing because the agency doesn't make any money off the giveaways. They're not an employee. They're not a family member. It's not me or my wife or anybody else associated with the business. Therefore, they draw completely by random. And I don't know how they do it, whether it's a software drawing or if it's, you know, or, or how it's ran. I, I don't know. But they do it by complete random. That's how we get our winners. And then they contact the winner via email and by phone, depending on which one is a better way to get a hold of the winner. And they ask them to fill out some basic information, which is just like we got to see your ID to make sure you are who the order says you are. And just to make sure that um, you're at least of age 18 or older and just basic stuff. And then they ask you to fill out a small form and send it back to them. And then that gives me the opportunity to then call you and congratulate you on winning the truck and signing the paperwork to make it official. That's just part of the legal route that you have to go no matter what you're doing. If it's a legal giveaway, they have to do that. Now there are some social media influencers out there who do completely irregulated, illegal giveaways and they've been getting away with it for a long time now. Some of the faces you would completely recognize if I put them on here, but it's not my place to do that. But all I'm gonna say is if they are not selling actual products and have an actual sweepstakes disclaimer section on their website with legal rules that are very expensive to have bonded and registered with all 50 states and Canada. If they do not have some kind of legal legitimate rules and disclaimers available to you and they make you like say buy a spot or cash at me or send me or buy these tickets and you're unless it is a fundraiser that is being completely donated to something that is illegal. You cannot do that. So, you know, if anything happens for whatever reason, you're just you're just out because those are not regulated and they're not legal giveaways versus our giveaways. You can buy hats like the one I've got on right now or shirts like the one that I got under this hoodie. Um, you can buy anything on the site and not only do you get products, but you get entries in the way that the giveaways are bonded. It's no matter what happens, no matter if we make money or if we lose money, it does not matter. No matter how far away the winner ends up being from us, the truck has to go, okay? That is how it works. And if something happens to the truck, let's say the truck gets wrecked or the truck ends up in a barn fire or the truck, you know, whatever the case may be, there's insurance to compensate for the full value of the giveaway prize, whether that be the truck plus cash, whatever, the winner will be compensated with equal value to whatever the giveaway truck or prize may have been. So that's the difference between a regulated and legal giveaway that has insurance and bonding and stuff and a giveaway that does not, you know, so just make sure you guys fully understand the difference. Um, there's a lot of, you know, fine print stuff that, you know, there's no point in going over just because it's just too lengthy, it takes too much time and it's really just over, overly complicated. And we do not contact you through Facebook. We do not contact you through Instagram. We do not contact you through any of those social media platforms with a long stupid message with a bunch of emojis and crap messaging you saying, oh my gosh, fill out this, pay this fee and then you win your truck. Because I know that that's a common thing. We will contact you, ask you for just basic information like I previously stated, ID, just to confirm you are who your order name and address and everything says you are you know just to verify your information to make sure it's legitimate before we 
you know, have you come out here to get a truck and then like your names don't match up on your ID and you know, for whatever reason, you're like trying to flee from the government, whatever the case may be. It's just basic due diligence to make sure that we are doing what's legal and what's right and also looking out for you. So we need to make sure the information matches up to the person that placed the order. That being said, this winner, our attorney contacted them, called them, you know, basically said, hey, you know, you won the giveaway. I just need some basic information. That way I can move forward with the process and have him call you and schedule a time for you to go out and get your truck. And the guy is hesitating to sign anything or to give a photo of an ID or anything because he doesn't think it's real. So, which I totally, I get it. Again, like I said, I, I totally understand. I'm not saying this like in a way that's like, how dare he like not, you don't want to believe it. I totally understand, trust me. So I'm gonna actually call him. Um, I'm going to call him and I'm not going to congratulate him yet just because I don't know anything about the guy. I don't know how old he is or how young he is. I don't know anything about him, but I'm just gonna call him, let him know who I am and say, hey, if you want this truck, dude, like you're gonna, you're gonna have to pick up the phone and talk to the attorney that did the drawing because without you filling out the information he needs you to, you can't you can't come get the truck. I mean, that's just, that's just the way that it is. I don't make the rules. The federal government makes the rules around that stuff and every state has their own rules. So um, that's just the way that it is. We can't change the rules for any particular winner or customer. So I'm gonna try to get a hold of him. Hopefully he's understanding and if he's not, then this has happened before one other time where somebody just, they just didn't want to believe it. They spent money, a bunch of money to enter the giveaway and then they got drawn and they're like, ah, I'm not buying it. I'm not showing you my ID and I'm not going to fill out any document to come get the truck. Like, you know, you're either just going to let me come get it or I'm not going mean, to, I don't want it. And I'm like, okay, well then you, you can't get it, you know? And he's just like, fine. And so that's the way that it went. And then we gave the truck to somebody else. And of course, after that, he was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know it was really legit. I saw the YouTube video talking about how I turned it down and everything. And I'm like, dude, I called you, I texted you. I, I got a hold of you so many different ways, trying to give you the opportunity. You kept turning it down. So hopefully he doesn't do that because I think he's gonna regret it. Um, but let's get on the phone with him and just uh, hopefully he accepts. Okay, so we got Anthony calling right now. So I'm gonna pick up the phone here and talk to him. Hello, is this Anthony? Yes, this is. Hey, how's it going, man? That's bad. I'm doing good. Hey, I um, I got a call today, and he said that you're hesitating to work with him on the paperwork stuff. I was just verifying, just because I've never done this before, so yeah. So I was just trying to get like information, just verifying. So okay, I was double checking, researching, doing all that stuff because I. I'm like kind of a social media guy where I don't have social media at all. I don't even have Facebook. I've never had a MySpace or anything like that, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I totally get it. It's legit. <laughs> I can yeah. even tell you everything you ordered if you want me to. I believe it's legit. I, I recognize your voice, dude. I've been following your, your uh, YouTube for a while now. I so. appreciate it, dude. You spent money to enter, man. I would hate for you to turn it down and then not get the truck, too, you know? Yeah, for sure. Avenue. Yep. Yep. I got all your order info, bro. It's legit. Right on. Yeah. So all you got to do is, you know, the way that it works is he has to be the one to call and verify information just because he's non-biased. So he has to do the drawing and everything since he's not associated with, you know, our business affairs or anything like that. So that's just how it works. People always wonder why I don't, you know, call the winner myself first and do like a live video and stuff. And it's because... I can't, I can't do the drawing myself. You know what I mean? Cause there's, right. there's right. bias involved then and it can't be trusted if I'm doing it, you know, myself right. when yeah, I'm the one running the giveaway. You know, just fill out the information that he's requesting and um, then I'll be calling you back. It's as simple as that really. And then we'll get a time lined up. I actually have been reading the paperwork on it and stuff and just like that so i'm about done with that and then i'm, I'm sending it over sure. sounds good dude yeah i mean we had this happen one other time and uh, i i called the guy and i was talking to him and he just was like i'm not filling anything out i'm not filling anything out and then i you know i had to tell everybody in the video you know because they're like oh we thought the winner was out of whatever state you know and I'm like well uh -huh. he was supposed to be but he refused to fill everything out i called him i tried to facetime him and everything and he's like i'm not giving out any information 
And so then once I posted the video, he was like, oh my gosh, he's like, ah, oh, is it too late? You know, can I still get it? I'm like, dude, the other guy already filled everything out now because you kept turning it down. And, it, and that was like a week ordeal <laughs> and he just wouldn't fill anything wow. out. So we had to move on, but yeah, dude, it's legit and it's a sick truck and I would hate for you to miss out on the opportunity because you won fair and square and um, you definitely put in some entries for it. For sure. Yeah, I definitely ain't gonna miss out on it. I'm definitely, I'm filling it out for sure. Sounds so. good, man. Well, hey, as soon as that's done and whatnot, we're gonna line up another time. I'll give you a ring and um, we'll get everything lined up in terms of, you know, how you want to get the truck, whether, you know, you want to, we want to work with your buddy to have him hot shot, you know, pick it up or if you want to fly out and I know it's a long, long drive, but you know, we'll, we'll work out the details on whatever works best, you know. I'll get a little bit more of a game plan going on my end and stuff and get that paperwork over and then we'll touch base. And Sounds go good. That. Yeah, and if you have any questions, you know, just shoot me a text. Okay. Sounds right good, on. dude. Thank you so yep. much. Hey, take care, Anthony. I'll speak to you soon. All right, you too. Yep, Thanks. So it sounds like uh, that phone call was all he needed to put him right over the top just to at least confirm that uh, it, it's really us, you know, which I've only had to do that a few times, but um, when I do have to do it, you know, it doesn't hurt. It takes a few minutes, give somebody peace of mind, and he's gonna be getting a sweet truck. Thanks so much for all the love and support. Stay tuned, because in the next video, we are hopefully picking up another truck. We haven't seen one of these on the channel in a little while, so. I think you guys are gonna like it but stay tuned it's super clean super sick and as long as everything goes to plan we should be picking it up tomorrow i'll catch you in the next one peace